Hello, welcome to ZetaBlock. Today, we're going to introduce you to our data platform and get you familiar with how to build data intensive projects to get your team ahead in this sweet hackathon. First, you need to go to our app. You can either launch it from our official website or by clicking the link below this video. You need to sign up to this app. You can fill in your email and password or use Google login for the former will send you a confirmation email to activate your account. For first time login, you need to choose your plan. You can choose a free plan and skip adding your credit card. Then after completing a short questionnaire and onboarding wizard, you're all set to start building your amazing project. Now let's log into the app. On the top right corner, there is a build button for you to create a new query, a new dashboard, or a new data source. Let's choose the first one to build a query. What you're seeing here is NAR Dev Studio. You can browse NAR data catalog on the left panel. There lists all the chains we currently support and the number of corresponding tables you, they have. The switch button with a little lightning icon besides the search bar is a filter for tables supporting near real-time data freshness. The data freshness is of, of great importance to building your custom APIs. If you click on the status tab on the left navigation bar, you can see the big difference in terms of data latency between real-time data and historic data. With a few seconds for the former and minutes or even hours for the latter, this eventually affects the data freshness of your custom APIs. We'll cover API creation later. Now come back to our query builder. Say you're interested in switching and you like to check the transactions, which is a real-time table. You can click on the preview button. A pop-up window will show you the sample of this table. You can click on the, the plus button as a shortcut to copy a SQL snippet to the editor as a starting template of your query. Let's modify the query to return 2,000 records. As we're querying against a real-time table, you can explicitly choose to run it in real-time DB. Once we get the results back, you can click on the Use button on the top right corner of the query editor, this can turn the query we just ran into a custom API. First, you need to name our API. Let's call it Sweet Transaction Sample. You can add some additional descriptions of this API for others to know its usage. We also need to specify the fresh read of the underlying data as we're building on a real-time table, we can choose real-time. If you're building on top of data lake tables, you can choose other refresh intervals. Then you can include all the table columns you like to index so that they can be returned as property fields of your API output. Lastly, we need to specify the primary index. Now we can deploy the GraphQL API. You will be redirected to another page where you can see the index in progress. Once it's done, you will be able to query your freshly baked API in the Playground tab.
there's a shortcut for you to fill in the GraphQL. Click the run button to get your results. Now let's take a look at how to call your API in Postman. First, you need to create a post request. Then input the API endpoint to Postman. You can find it from the API page. Just click to copy. In the authorization tab, you need to input your API key. You can copy it from your profile. There's a copy shortcut besides API keys. Then you can add your query code. Here I just paste my GraphQL snippet. Send the request and your results are just one click away. In the meanwhile, we shipped some previous sweet graph QL APIs out of the box for you to consume directly. Just go to Project. There are two API projects. Choose Suite. In the Project Detail page, you can click on the Query Explorer to browse the preview graph objects already created. Or you can click on the tags below the Query Editor to get some pre-populated queries, for example, to get the transaction block detail for a specific digest. Next, let's quickly walk through our data offering for Swing Mainnet and Testnet. For Mainnet, there are five categories. Role, which are the basic tables for fundamental data structures of Swing Chain, like balance changes, checkpoints, events, object changes, transaction blocks, and transactions. Decoded, where you can find NFT tokens, coins, packages, and project packages. Balances, for fungible tokens and native suite tokens. DEX, which are abstract tables containing different DEX projects, liquidity pools, and swap details. NFT, for NFT treats on suite. With all the three data sets in mind, we can dive a little deeper for a concrete example of how we can analyze the DEX swap volume for three tokens. You can find this example on our documentation site. Let's take a look at this query. In the first CTE common table expression, we get all the three token swap activities, either three as an input token or the output token, so that later we can aggregate on their volumes. In the second CTE, we get the daily average prices for three token in history. In the third CTE, we get the latest three token price. In the main query, we aggregate on projects and dates to get the daily trading volumes for each DEX project, as well as the USD amount approximately. After getting the query result, we can build charts to visualize the data. For example, we present a bar chart here to give you an overview of the trade volumes of each DEX protocol along the timeline. You can fork the original query and tweak it for your own interest. Last but not the least, let's talk about the hackathon bounty that ZetaBlock sponsors for Sweet. Our objective is to help you build your dApp utilizing ZetaBlock's tribute Sweet APIs or crafting your own real-time APIs. Your dApp should harness our extensive Sweet abstraction data to extract insights on protocols, wallets, and other blockchain components, enabling you to deliver a product that is both innovative and of genuine utility to the Sweet community. Our first price, price is $2,000 in USDC plus 12 months builder plan free. 
which is worth another $600. And for all of you who participate in this hackathon, we'll give you a two-month builder plan immediately. You just need to follow the link in the Getting Started section at the bottom of this guideline. Remember to associate your account email to this bonus program. Come to our Discord channel if you have any question or need help. Thanks for watching this video. I have a great time in this hackathon.